So, what's up everybody? My name is Everett Hall and I am the Hall Monitor. And I um, go by E-Hall normally because people have a hard time saying Everett. Um, it's just E-V-E-R-E-T-T. -E -T. But I've been called Eric, Ever, Ever, um, Edward. But so simply it's E-Hall and I am the Hall Monitor. Um, and I'm talking to you, my hall monitors, about the latest in entertainment, movies, Hulu, Netflix, um, any films. And so um, I built this space and curated this place so that I'll be able to have a place to discuss um, various entertainment shows that I watch. I've been in, an, in the industry since I was eight years old. And I'm always eating, breathing, consuming um, some form of entertainment, whether it be movies, whether it be TV shows or um, music, because I've been doing music since I was two years old professionally. And so um, I found an escape in the streaming world with Netflix uh, producing content and then subsequently Hulu coming and having wonderful content. Amazon Prime has great content and um, Apple has started to have content as well. So want to have a place to talk about it because I watch things that most of my friends don't watch and those shows are near and dear to me and I never have anybody to talk to them about because they don't watch them. So I um, wanted this space to expand the audience to maybe somebody who might be interested in watching something. But today's show, we're going to talk about a feature film, Cats. Um, Cats is an old play from like when I was a youngster um, in the 90s. It was on Broadway. And I always wanted to see it, but I was so young. We didn't have much money growing up. Couldn't get to New York. And then when, once I got to New York, I was there on strict business and nobody bothered to give us any tickets to any plays. Uh, so I never saw Cats, um, even when it was on tour. Um, and it would come to Atlanta, never would see it. Um, but once I saw the commercial, um, the trailer, four cats and saw Jennifer, you know, singing her little heart out. I was like, okay, I'm finally going to get to see the movie Cats. Um, and so today I saw it. Um, when it re when it was released, I think it was released last, within this week. Um, yeah, this week. And um, it features an all-star cast. You have Taylor Swift, Jennifer Hudson, James Corden, Idris Elba, uh, Jason Derulo, Rebel Wilson is in it. Like, you really can't go wrong, but a lot of people were saying that it was bad. Um, and, you know, the digital, the CGI, and da 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 da. I'm like, with all these great Academy Award winning actors, great singers, great choreographers, great music and it's like one of the top selling plays in london in new york at broadway so why would it not work as a movie um if rent could be successful uh what else fiddler on the roof it, it's so many plays so this had to be done and i'm so glad it was done um i feel that it was tastefully done I didn't know anything about the story, so it introduced several different types of cats. And there was a villain. The villain was Idris Elba, and um, he did a great job. His um, accomplice was Taylor Swift. She did wonderful, wonderful. I don't think I've ever seen her in a film outside of her own little, like, docuseries. Um, but she was great. Um, Jennifer Hudson stole the show like always just like she did in dream girls she is a powerhouse and so that part she played it well and she got the deserving ending ending that she deserved um rebel wilson made me laugh 
her entry when she was scratching herself. Oh my God, it was just funny. Uh, and of course she sung very good and <laughs> like sung song. Jason Derulo though, I don't think I've ever really been familiar with his music because he's more pop instead of R&B. Um, and I really don't always catch hold to the pop stuff because I do listen to a lot of go more gospel and um, folk and classical music. So um, never really heard a song from him, but he can sing. He can sing, sing. Um, James Corden, who um, does the carpool karaoke, he did an amazing job. I liked him. Uh, Idris, I said, did good. He, I didn't know he could sing, but he sung. Judy Drent, Drent, Dench, I don't know how to say her name. She, I thought she was Helen Mirren the whole time, but I'm wrong, so don't kill me in the comments. But she was amazing, and I, she was actually my favorite. Yeah, I won't say what I want to say about her, but she was my favorite. Uh, and the older looking cat, his name is Ian. He was really good. Um, he was the theatrical cat. So just overall, Cats was, I give it a 10.5. From a, on a scale from one to ten, I give it a ten point five because it like was a dream come true for me, and uh, it featured good music, good singing. The twins, the Beyonce, the boy twins um, that dance for Beyonce on her tour sometimes, they were featured in there. I, you can't really see them, but the dance moves you know is them. Uh, and well maybe they're not twins because i'm looking at their names and it don't look like oh no larry and laurent yeah larry and laurent okay but um yeah they were good uh and the costumes the makeup was just on point the um CGI or the animation, whatever it was that made those tails wag and those whiskers go, those ears move, was on point. Uh, everything was just good. I don't even know necessarily how they were able to accomplish it and get it and get it um, out as a good product like that. But it was a phenomenal movie. I'm glad I went and I'm ready um, for the next show. So, subscribe to the page. Uh, see, I didn't even have you here long. Uh, just only eight minutes. But um, subscribe to the page. I think the next video I'm going to do is going to be my top five Hulu shows. Because I prefer Hulu over Netflix. Might do a video on that too. But, <clears throat> yeah. Got to go get ready for church. <coughs> I get ready the night before church so I don't have to get all together on Sunday morning. But y'all be blessed. Um, love y'all like Christ. Love the church. Bye.